was a night packed with boys with sexy bodies and little teeny weeny underwear. And I'm sure they had names and personalities, but we didn't really care because it was all about the Cosmos Sexiest Man. You won't care either. Have a look. It's a night of washboard abs, magnificent bods, and of course, gorgeous smiles. It's got to be one of the ladies' favorite events of the year. It's the Cosmopolitan Sexiest SA Men 2012. And judging by the talent here tonight, oh man, it's going to be a lot of fun. The six packs, the triceps, and the hamstrings, and everything. I love good looking men. Oh my god, they are hot. Very good specimens, as my mother would say. This year, we really decided to focus more on the celebrity or well known people. So we've got a good mix. It's uh, singers, it's bloggers, TV personalities, sports stars. It's really an opportunity for Cosmo girls, you know, to bust out their mini skirts, rock their heels, and really have a good time. The gorgeous lads who previously walked away with the title include Colin Moss, Ray Nittling, Pepsi Pokane, Veynand Olafir, and 2011's Greg Hammond. This is what rangers need to look like. I don't think many rangers will make them. So by more, it must have been what made them call me, and I'm happy to be here. I'm quite a geek by nature, not used to the media spotlight. And it's not about me, it's what the people think, so... If they say I'm sexy, then I guess I gotta wear the crown, right? Being labelled a sexy guy is generally an open invitation for all your friends to rip you off. How many hearts have you broken? <laughs> I would like to think none. In terms of workouts, I'm a big fan of kettlebells. They just burn fat, tone muscle, keep you fit. It's like cardio and weights at the same time. I hardly train, I just run a lot. But let's not forget the eating. I don't need Please show me your abs. Come on, show me your abs. You can like pour something in there and drink from it. We're gonna do this super slow. Here we go. Maybe with a little bit of hip in it. There we go. There we go. I counted at least 12. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Uh, I think it is Texan. <laughs> Your best asset? My eyes. The way my blue eyes mixes with my intellect. You no, know, we all have different builds, and I think uh, the one that has the nicest face will win it. <laughs> <laughs> they're all incredibly hot, and they all deserve to be there. The best part of a man's body for Jen Sue. <laughs> On a guy, definitely, definitely, definitely. A lean, not super chiseled. I think that is like really sexy because it looks like you're not trying too hard to be, you know? You don't, you don't live in the gym. When I come to something like this and I see all these guys with six packs and all the rest of it, it makes me feel a little bit, you know, emasculated. It's the readers of Cosmopolitan magazine who get to choose which one of these 13 studs walk away with the coveted title of SA's Sexiest Man. Mr. Bobby Van The winner really deserves it, but they were all looking good. Some people like just like, what are you thinking to enter this competition? Bobby Van Yarsfeld. Woo! Buy a lecker. <laughs> Congratulations, Bobby. Sexiest man 2012. How does it feel? It feels very weird. I, <laughs> I'm blushing now. I don't know what to say. It's very weird. I, it's, it's awesome. Maybe it's, uh, it's it's Afrikaans people that listen to my music that voted. So yeah, donkey in Afrikaans, donkey. I don't want to see it. Why do you feel it? And so one man walks away with the title. Although in my eyes, they're all winners. Thirteen incredible men to keep you company every single month of the year. I just had an idea though. I need to chat to Smoo because I'm thinking 52 men for every week of the year. 